hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far in the material science and engineering uh, section we have covered the basic introductory concepts uh, about uh, the basic layout of the subject of material science and engineering we also discussed about the classification of engineering materials in a quick way and also about the various properties that are studied for uh, the selection of a particular uh, material for a suitable engineering application. So in this video, uh, from this video actually, we are going to start the mechanical properties of materials. We will discuss some basic concepts uh, related to that. As I said, each and every property, each and every uh, category of engineering material or each and every property uh, which is considered is a vast, you know, field in itself. Okay. So we will start with mechanical properties. So we will discuss some of the mechanical properties, some of the electrical properties, some of the thermal properties, electrical properties, then we will again. Uh, continue that cycle because if we just stick with a particular property or a particular material we will not be able to cover all of them because it is such a huge uh, you know, uh, subject because we have to cover all the aspects so we will start with some of the mechanical properties in the next few videos it will be related to mechanical properties then in the upcoming videos in future we will again go to electrical properties so like that so the mechanical properties which we, we are going to discuss in this video is or are actually stress, strain, deformation of materials and testing of materials. Basic concepts. Okay. So the first uh, thing which we will discuss is about stress and strain and why it is important to analyze that. So the basic definition of stress is it is the pressure which is called as load in material science uh, applied per unit area cross sectional area of the material which is considered or which is being considered for a suitable application. So during any mechanical operation the pressure which is applied on the cross-sectional area of the material that is called as stress okay in simple words it is equivalent to pressure and because of this applied load or applied pressure there will be changes in the dimensions of the material there can be change in length change in cross-sectional area there may be because of extreme stress it can lead to damage or fracture as it is called of the engineering material. So the analysis of all of these things is very important in material science engineering because the material which is being considered for a particular engineering application it you know it can it may be installed in a particular environment which is required for high stress applications okay so for example in any case let's say force or pressure transducers the material which is selected or which is being considered for design of a suitable force or pressure transducer so the material which is being used to design that it must be able to withstand the applied force or pressure and it will it will have a certain suitable maximum range so in order to test what is the maximum range of that uh, sensor it is very important to analyze the material from that point of view okay so this is the basic definition of stress and strain now what are the different types of stress which a material can experience so basically uh, there are uh, five types of stress to which a material can be subjected to or which uh, it faces in uh, the normal day-to-day -day applications so this first one is the 
compression type stress or the compressive stress which tries to compress this material. So, because of this there will be a reduction in length and an increase in the cross sectional area. This is the tensile stress. Okay. Now, because of this, this, this type of stress or pressure, this causes, it, it elongates the material as a result of which there will be an increase in length and a decrease in cross sectional area. We will discuss them in detail. Right now, I am just uh, in a quick way, I am telling you these things. Then this is the bending stress. Okay. It tries to bend the material trying to change its shape, alter its shape. This is the bending stress. Then we have the shear stress and the torsional stress. Now shear stress we, uh, we discussed in the fluid mechanics uh, section, the shear stress on the fluids. So similar to that, it is that and the torsional stress, it is a kind of a twisting or rotating kind of a stress in opposite direction, which uh, in this way. So both of these stresses they act in opposite directions in parallel manner but in opposite direction shear and torsion here also it is in opposite direction it tries to compress it and it tries to expand it, the body so these are the five type five types of stresses that a uh, material uh, comes in uh, contact with then the mathematical representation of stress. So basic formula of pressure, it is same for stress as well. It is the force applied on the cross-sectional area of the material. So it is force per unit cross-sectional area, okay, just stress, F by A, okay, stress. This is the symbol of stress. Now, the formula, the mathematical representation of strain is the ratio between the change in length because of the applied stress as compared to the original length. Because of the applied stress, there will either be an increase or decrease in length, okay, or an increase and decrease in the cross sectional area. So, the strain is the change in the length, the amount of change in the length as compared to the initial length or the original length with respect to the original length, delta L by L. This is the formula of strain. Now, the unit of stress, it can be represented in terms of Newton per meter square or it can be uh, represented in terms of Pascal or pounds per square inch, PSI. Okay. So, basically it is uh, Pascal that unit is used and various uh, uh, other pound square inch unit is also used for stress or you can simply represent it as Newton per meter square. Strain is unitless because length by length it will cancel each other out. It will have no units but uh, sometimes you may come across uh, strain as represented in units such as meter per meter or inches per inches like that. Okay, So this is the uh, unit of both stress and strain. Then deformation. So when stress is applied on a particular material, it is natural that it will undergo strain, a change in the length or cross sectional area and it will result in deformation. Okay. This will cause a change in the shape and size of the material. Now, if this deformation is reversible or recoverable, what it means is that as soon as the stress is removed, as soon as the force, applied force is being taken out, the material regains its original length and original cross-sectional area, its original shape and size. If it goes back, returns back to its original dimension, then that is called as elastic deformation. Okay, if the deformation or change in dimension is reversible or it can be recovered, that is called as elastic deformation. But if that deformation is irreversible or non-recoverable, it means that the material 
does not return back to its original dimension original shape and size and the change and the change in length and cross sectional area is permanent then it is called as plastic deformation okay then the testing of materials now the materials which are being considered for various engineering applications they undergo various uh, testing stages okay there are various phases of testing and uh, it is done to check their various mechanical properties such as stress strain tensile strength uh, ductility malleability toughness hardness all of these parameters are tested now broadly we can divide these tests into two categories non destructive tests and destructive tests now in non destructive tests the material which is being which is under scrutiny which is being tested it does not get damaged okay it 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 remains intact it does not disintegrate or gets damaged but in destructive tests a small sample piece of that material is taken and at the end it will get damaged it is tested with the intention of taking it to the extreme point okay so it will get damaged or destroyed in the end now the various types of mechanical testing which is done uh, for the testing of the mechanical properties of engineering materials are these okay so the first test which is being done is the tensile test which is uh, used to test the tensile strength elastic limit young's modulus ductility toughness etc then we have the impact test which is used to test the toughness then we have a hardness test which is used to uh, test the wear and tear resistance the abrasion resistance then fatigue test uh, which is used to analyze the material behavior under uh, repeated stress and the creep test which is used to test the material behavior under stress for a long or prolonged period of time so these are the various types of mechanical testing and we'll discuss each of them in separate videos actually it will take around two or three videos for each one of them okay so we'll uh, we'll uh, discuss them one by one in separate videos so these are the uh, types of mechanical testing which is done on engineering materials for analysis of their mechanical properties so here we just uh, discussed in short the various uh, basic mechanical properties the stress strain the various types of stress the mathematical representation of stress and strain their units deformation and the testing of materials so in the upcoming videos we'll discuss about each of these uh, tests in detail so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much